Hi there, welcome to Crap Concepts. Today we'll be working with some additional tips and tricks in Tableau. First of all, we are going to understand a few ribbon options and shortcuts. The ones that I use most frequently are as follows. Let's first create some random visualization. The data that I'm using is a sample data set available at uh, Tableau, Resource, Tableau Public Resources. It goes by the name of Summer Olympics data set. So now we have a visualization, but I'm not really interested in this. Let's say this visualization had a number of formulas, filters, and whatnot added into it. Four or five parameters added into it. And I do not want to keep it anymore. So instead of going and deleting each one of them, I would simply go to clear sheet. Then there's the option that I like to use. Okay, let's create another graph. I'm taking gender and I'm taking all medalists. And I'll also add sport over here. So I'll be creating a graph using this. I'm not working on the colors right now. It's not something I'm interested in showing as of now. So now I do not like the axis. Let's say I wanted to change the axis of these. I'll go over here and switch axis. Or I can simply press Control plus W and it does the same thing. You also have sort options within this. So that is also that also makes your job a lot more easier. Then I like to work with this a lot. Right now, you'll see our visualization in standard view. We need to scroll a number of times. But if we shift it into entire view, the entire visualization is available at once. However, there's a lot of labels here. That is why it's getting cluttered. So you need to choose when to use this and when not to. Finally, the presentation view allows you to go into a full screen view and you don't have to toggle and hide all the unnecessary items present. While you're in this presentation view, you can go over here to show film strip and you can choose, select between the different sheets that you have made. Another option is to simply use the side arrow keys to move between the sheets. And this is also presentation view, but not in full screen. You can access this using F11 button or this. So that was mostly all that we had in the ribbon option. Now there's one more shortcut that I like to use. Let's say right now my color is based on sport. Let's say I want this color to be based on the count of the medals. So click on control, drag and drop it onto the color option. So this is an interesting shortcut because if you had a number of dimensions and measures present, it would be a hassle searching for this over and over again. So if you already have it in your visualization, you can simply press control and you would copy and paste. Finally, now let's try building another visualization. Now let's try to understand how to build a word cloud. So I want a text graph that shows the name of the country that has the most medals in Olympic history. So first of all, let's drag and drop NOC onto the text value. Then select this NOC. Press control, drag and drop it onto size. Now go to the drop down arrow of size, convert it into measure and convert it into count. Right now your marks depicts automatic so Tableau has changed it into a tree map. Go to the drop down arrow and select text again. Now you'll see USA, Great Britain, they pop out right now. Let's say I want to color them based on the number of medals they have won. So let's select all medalists and drop it into color. Now you can see that USA has the most medals, URS, Great Britain, Germany. So the values that you wanted to see pop out while others fade. Finally, let's see how we can add a custom label. I'm going to add another sheet. This time around, I would see the medals based on the gender. Okay, so let's add medals. And let's add gender. And all medalists. Now we'll convert this into a graph. And again, let's convert the axis of both. And make the view better. Maybe add some labels. So here you can add show mark labels. I actually want the gender side by side, so I'll swap this out. And okay, this is the visualization I wanted. But in this visualization, I do not like this label. Now, if I wish to change the label, I can simply right click, edit axis, and change the name to whatever I want. But what if I want the alignment to change to? What if I want C, O, U, N, T, basically the label that goes downward? If you want to do such a thing, we can go ahead and create a calculated field. Now let's name it label and put in double quotation marks. Now let's write down the label that we want. So I'll write N, press enter, O dot, enter, enter, O, enter, F, enter, enter. And then I'll write medals in the same way and then end it with a double quotation mark and click OK. Now take this label and drag it onto the rows option over here before the count. So your number of medals appears here, but I want this to not be present. So again, right click, edit axis, and just don't give any title over here. So this is how we can change the, the way our title is aligned.
So these were some of the tricks from Tableau that I found useful. There's so many tricks out there that you can browse the internet all day long and they won't end. The most important thing is to keep building visuals and you'll start finding these tricks out on your own. For now, that is it from our side. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video and would like more such videos, please consider subscribing.